Good morning, Don here. Well, just imagine what came today. <laughs> so, <laughs> hello, hi, howdy. Welcome to my channel. It seems that UPS decided to play with this package a little bit. As you can see, yes, you can, you can see right here. But, uh, yeah, red label on it. Extremely urgent. Wow, extremely urgent. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Email Donado Seven Filmsich at and then nothing else. By Bentheim, Germany on Bismarck Platz four. Hmm. On bit um, No wonder they deliver that every time to the office down below. Um, Bismarck Platz 4. And my address is 4 Baby Berta, or Bravo. And, uh, hmm. okay. But uh, anyway. Let's take a look inside. I'll move the camera around so that you can see everything that's going on here. I hope this will work. Yeah, I hope you can see this. One part, two parts, three parts. <clears throat> Here is a new Print head. This is the front plate. And that is the cooling block. Well, I must say, I do notice some changes here. Yep, there are some changes. Here's a hole in the middle.
I do not see a hole there. However, we can change that within a second or two. Just need to get a few tools here. Let me see. Yep, that is the right one. So, start taking off a few of the parts. They will have to be placed onto the new one, but um, underneath. Okay. Hmm. One thing here that is very strange. Both fans are pointing in the same direction. The big question is, from which side does the air come through? As you can see here, here is the label. On the other side, there's no label. And when I look at the sides, there is no arrow pointing about the airflow direction but this fan was just like that seems that I might have to attach this thing one once again to see if the fan is working and if the fan is blowing in the correct direction <clears throat> Uh, let me take a look here and see if I can find out something. Okay, I attached the black one to the printer to check and see which direction the airflow is. And the airflow comes in the direction that I thought. And that was correctly mounted. And the air goes in and comes out where where the sticker is. So that means for me to take this all apart. Oh, and something that I wanted to show you. This looks like a molded plastic part. This is not printed. But you have a plastic part. You have a plastic part here. This is all plastic. Here's that small circuit board. And this plastic is sitting right here on top of the extruder motor with hardly no air between it. And here and here is the and here is the circuit board. That's something that I'm going to have to check to to see um, how the soldering points look. Mm -hmm. 
but that means I will have to take everything off now. What is interesting here is I see no screw that is holding the heater element. There is a small grub screw there. I think that is for mounting the yeah hmm. ah, okay But um, if there is a difference, <clears throat> I'm not sure where it's supposed to be right now. However, the grooves that are in the red one here, they are, uh, I'm not sure it looks like. They are the same as in the black one. Who knows? Who knows? Let's let me get this thing off. Now let's take a look. And it's really strange that they use two or three different sizes of screws for one element. It would be more interesting to see if they could not make everything in one piece with one set of one with one type one set of screws and a little bit of PLA inside here and, uh, uh, and I put my glasses on so that I can see a little bit a little bit better over here. Maybe that, that extruder gear, look, and gear looks okay. Of course it does have a little bit of filament between the gears. Not much. Let me see if I can... Well, that's no problem. That was easy to get that off. No problem at all. 
So this fan just sits on top like that. fans. And now the big question of the day is, uh -huh, uh -huh. now I see something. There is a small grub screw. But now that makes me wonder <coughs> if there's a small grub screw why did they already put this all around it instead of waiting oh man I can't believe this and this is tight That one is really tight. Mine is really tight too, only because I tightened it up. It was loose in the beginning. short one. Yeah, look. You can see here how this one turns. There it is. A small grub screw on this side, and it looks like it's only for the heating element. Oh, that means. start using these. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me see how small that one is. A little bit bigger. I 
it should be more than enough. There is the heating element. This is a warp screw in there too. Yep. question is, why will it not come out? Oh, man. That thermistor is sitting really tight inside. And I am trying to be careful with it. Hoping that no wire breaks here. But just to be on the safe side. Just check and see how it is. Jesus Christ, this is a long one. Okay. Now I would like to know how you are supposed to tighten this up. How are you supposed to tighten this up with all this on it? And the grub screws are up here on top. I do not want to cut this off, but it looks like I have to cut it open so that I can get into where the screws are. But I'm going to try and do a trick. to see if this will work. in here. when you do not have to tighten it really tight. It's for the thermistor, because if you tighten it too tight, you might break it. So you have to be careful there. Now, that's on the new one.
they are the same size. Somebody was marking this one with a black marker. All, all of the holes are in the right position. Yeah. Holding it up to a light, I can see right through. Normally, this heat break tube should fall out. There is no grub screw like this one here, here inside. There's nothing holding it. But that thing is in there. That's unbelievable. Well, and here's a new print head. It goes in there. And if I take a look here, which I will, Three point five millimeter. Hmm. Let's take a exact look and see what we can find here. Yeah. It's four, four point zero two. It's at zero. 4.02. Okay. Mm, let me tighten this up a little bit. Just a little bit. Because that's not right. That will be right. Something like that. Here. Okay. Let me see how far I am. Three point four. Thank you. 
Yes. Okay. Now I can tighten this up. That one is on. This is so strange that this one needs spaces underneath it. Wait a minute. This one is like this. Okay, then I'm going to have it so that the cable is more on the back. No, it can't be. It has to be like that. This is the fan duct that, go, that comes on it. Strange little piece of plastic. And I must say, because it only blows from the back side. But what I really strange find is that this fan, okay, it has the spaces on it so that the fan can pull air through it. But what I do not understand is why is there a why there are no spaces on this one. The air is coming through here and going down on there. But I do think that if there was a little bit of a distance between it, that more air could circulate underneath there. and it'll go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's try it from a different angle. Ah. Oh, come on now. That was a good one. Try it again. Come on, jump forward. Not that much. Yeah, I know there is an easier way to do this, but okay. What did you do? Oh man. I don't believe this. Ah, 
I do not believe this. That's what I meant. Looking for a screw that you have in your hand, you know? Oh, wait a minute. Let me try something else. Yeah. I am. So, fan surmounted. Now this one has to be mounted. Holy moly. It's just cutting it away. What the heck is going on here? Where did the screw go? Ah, okay. Found it. You won't believe this. I am trying to put a screw in here. and wondering why the screw won't go in and all of a sudden what do I find? A damn groove screw, a grub screw that is screwed into a hole 
to where this screw has to go into. And I am wondering why the screw won't go in. I would like to know which idiot thaw in China put a grub screw in in Ah oh, That cannot be. That cannot be. Wrong size. I need this one. Yeah. You know, that's a. Now, one thing I do notice to put this screw in. I did not have to turn this print head. Here on the black one, Just to demonstrate, let me put this back on. You see where that is? And you see where this is? some kind of a change was made because we had to turn this to put it in that is strange and I have one grab screw here No idea where it's supposed to go. Those two are in the head. Yeah, that would be a gross screw for here. But you can't put a grub screw in this one anymore. What? Anyway. I would say, let's get a few parts out of, out of the way. <coughs> I will keep these old parts just in case something is needed at one day or another. Huh. And I have a grub screw in this package too. Nice. But now, what? Hey, okay, what I can do. Mm, wait a minute. Something strange going on. Yeah. There were three screws on the bottom, and I think there was only two screws on top. Because... have one screw laying there and I need two 
for the extruder motor. One thing that was intelligent that they did by the construction is putting putting the same length on the screws all over so that you only need one length of screw. That was a clever idea. Ah, come on now. So now the fans are mounted. Oh, that looks good. Good enough. Extruder motor is mounted. Here's that circuit board. And like I said, I want to take a look at it before I mount it back up. And as I read in a forum, um, a Facebook group, there was some information that if you had not read that you would not know that under the circuit board there is it looks like two resistors and a transistor or two resistors ah, who knows they are really small I see one, huh? two resistors and a transistor. There's T1, R1, and something else over here that's not marked. It might be an R2 or R3, who knows. But there's R1, a T1, a transistor, resistor. The soldering points... look okay but uh, that is not a good idea good idea for mounting yeah but uh, this is metal this metal is sitting on top of the extruder That is sitting on top of the extruder. And uh, well, let's just say heat can be transferred through metal as easy as anything else. Try that another way. This is supposed to be mounted right up here. And everything is, if everything is lined up correctly, then I should be able to, yeah. Yep. 
all the way down to the nozzle. So, which one was it? That was this one. So now one thing I must say, I do not like the design. I mean, I mean the design is okay, but you know it's nice and compact, but the part cooling fan is bullshit. The part cooling fan should at least not only come from the back, so it should also come from both sides too, at least to give an adequate cooling on the parts and not just bolt blowing from the back. That is not really And this fan here, if you just look at this, let me take a look in my monitor so I can see that I'm showing you everything okay. So, this fan up here is responsible for cooling this metal frame, cooling this block right here, and through this block, you have your heat break tube going through it, right through here. And uh, half, of, half of the fan is covered from the extruder motor. And you can see there's only just a little bit of air between the extruder motor and, and the fan. And I, you know, I cannot imagine that this fan is blowing enough air through these ribs that you see. And the air comes out here. However, I've never noticed that... Uh, there's any kind of uh, air that is being forced out through these parts right here, through these six gaps. One, two, three, four, five. Five. And this fan starts automatically as soon as you turn the printer on. It doesn't it does not wait until it gets up to 50 or something like that that starts running automatically so let's put this one back up mm -hmm. yeah one other thing I did notice. This one oh man. As you noticed from the black one, 
That thing is round. It's flat. There is no Oh man. And now I have to turn Oh. So If that is correct. I might have luck and that might still be correct. There it is. Almost. This one has to be plugged up in there. But, uh, yeah. Okay, that's the new print head. <laughs> well, I will. I will. I will not. I'm not sure. <laughs> <coughs> Who knows? I might, I might not. Oh, man. Okay. I got that put together. Yeah. Got it put together. Would have been nice if they would have sent that complete with a new extruder motor, new fans on it and everything, you know. No, they just sent the frame. But hey, that's okay. That's okay. That mount for the ABL with a thread inside. Nice idea. Which means once you get it set up and you tighten then the nuts on it, that means that won't move at all. Compared to the black one, the black one, there are no threads inside. And as you saw, when I took the ABL out, all I had to do was just release the nut on one side and pull it out, and that was finished. But, um, yeah. Who knows? Anyway, I will make a small cleanup here. Then I will mount that head back on. And see if there is any difference in printing. As we all know, the last problems that I had that was with the so called heat creeping up into the heat break tube, causing me a filament jam after. Hmm. Now that was strange. Sometimes it would be about an hour. Other times half an hour, other times two or three hours printing before. Uh, yeah, one time it was I was printing four or five hours. I thought, okay, 
that one part overnight that went good it was finished the next day and the one wing well I thought instead of staying up the whole night watching it I could go to bed because the last part printed perfect when I got up in the morning all I had was just a mess of filament with a filament jam in it but uh, yeah hmm that is a golden color that is nice <laughs> Sakata 3D 850 PLA. That's a cool, like a gold shimmering color. Hmm? Might be nice. That might be nice. Well, time for me to say, have a nice day. <laughs> <coughs> wish to thank all who have subscribed. I have seen a few new subscribers in the last couple of days. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do hope y'all take the time and uh, let your PC or your laptop run overnight and uh, just make a playlist from the German printing nerd or yeah would be nice um, and then let that print that playlist just run one after another one after another you know the whole night that would be cool if all of my 1426 27 subscribers if they all would do that then I would get the 4,000 hours that I need really fast or faster who knows <laughs> but uh, yeah anyway we shall know nice day and I will check this out and see if I can start printing and if so, I will make an extra video for that. Until the next time, take care, everybody. Bye.